The Wii, often known as your grandma's favourite console. I love my Wii, especially now that I've homebrewed it. But today, I'm going to be installing Linux on it. And how do I do it? Well, you're going to have to watch to find out, aren't you? Can't tell you now, that's going to ruin my watch time. So, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to subscribe. Also, I've got channel members, so if you enjoy my content, please consider joining. Anyway, join my Discord, links in the top comment and also the description. Anyway, I hope you enjoy. So what we need is this. The Wii Linux X White tutorial. Don't use the 2009 method. It's complicated and you can't install the F... I have never used Boot Me before. Boot Me is a homebrew software for Nintendo Wii that acts as a powerful recovery tool allowing users to back up and re... Boring! Copy the Boot Me. I need to download this thing first. So in my two beautiful apps here, copy the Boot Me folder to your desktop with the tutorial. Oh, I'm going to try and ignore this. So I need to get hack me, um, put this in apps, maybe, uh, copy the file boot.elf, go to your use, uh, blah, 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 so let's click one, what is an iOS, input, output system, I don't know what that means, install, install boot me, I, d I don't know if that was good, well that was incredibly easy for something that I thought was going to be very, very difficult, that was, that was very easy, actually. I've got a little issue, though. Every time I press the Wii controller, it sort of just flashes. I'm stuck in this menu. So the best option is just to switch it off. Oh, you control it by pressing the buttons. But okay. So we have boot me now. And what I also need is a USB stick. Specifically this one, shown here in this video. Just like this USB stick makes it easy to carry your files around, you also want your software to be simple and hassle free. That's where Keys Fan comes in. Hello fellow gamer, let's paint the picture. You just built your first ever gaming PC. Obviously you're gonna have to activate Windows. Let's be honest, you're a good little gamer. Oh brother, this guy stinks! Obviously you stay away from things like... <coughs> Piracy. What's the best solution? Well, obviously, it's KeysFan. KeysFan offers cheap and legal OEM software keys, which can be activated online. KeysFan also has 24-7 customer service and lifetime after sales. To get 62% off a of Microsoft Office, use the promo code SA62, and to get 50% off all Windows products, use SA52. All of my links are in the description and in the top comment. Thank you so much to KeysFan for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back to installing Linux on my Wii. Go, oh, that's a nicely named USB drive. And drag these things and just stick them in here. So these three things are on here. And here we go. We finally have the white Linux installer. <laughs> oh, I... <laughs> Something I couldn't find all the... I doubt it's speaking in first person. Because this is where everything went downhill. So, as you've seen, I've gotten this error. Genuinely, what the f*** does this say? So as you saw by my wonderful translating, something I couldn't find all the... I was trying to deal with this error. And it seemed that nobody else on the planet had ever had this. So, what did I do? So first, I went to a load of other websites and tried to download the files it wanted. That still didn't work. So, what next? I found this YouTube tutorial and I followed exactly what he did. And he renamed the files that corresponded to the kernel and the root folders to the ones that it needed. Okay, so, interesting development. I found this video, Installing Linux on a Wii by Test Kit Tech. What I'm hoping is that, look, he's getting the same error here as what I get on here. So what I'm hoping is that this tutorial will save my life. But because for whatever reason, as I can't read this, uh, he can read his, so I'm just gonna follow exactly what he does and hope it goes well. 
and that still didn't work. So that's when I resorted to asking on Discord servers, and nobody knew anything. Nobody knew what I was dealing with, and quite frankly, neither did I. So, what did I do? I decided to install Ubuntu, and here's how that went. So, this is as far as I've got. And the keyboard doesn't work. Just click A on the controller, it doesn't work. Nothing on the Wii remote works. Okay. Oh, never mind. <laughs> oh, but look, that is, that is Tux. Okay. Oh. Oh my god, we've we've got Ubuntu on it. Jesus Christ, okay. The user's Ubuntu. And, and the password is also Ubuntu. Is that it? I've done it. Okay, right, but I've got this working, but this just isn't the interesting Linux, is it? No, no it isn't. But then, God knows what I did. Every time I tried to launch Ubuntu on my Wii, this came up. I'm getting the feeling that this isn't meant to be happening. And it was 2am when I was recording this, a week ago. And it's 2am now, and I still have no idea how to install Linux on my Wii. But still, I did manage to do it. I managed to get Ubuntu running on my Wii. Even if it wasn't the good Linux, I still did it. On the screen right now, my channel members. Wait, hold on, I don't have any channel members yet. So feel free to join. Thank you to KeysFan for sponsoring today's video. But more importantly, thank you for watching. Join my Discord, make sure to subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.